Next on stage is an entrepreneur who aims to provide an online platform for celebrities to sell their pre-loved items. Hey, Arvin. Hi, John. So Arvin, you work with a lot of celebrities. So your business is closely tied to, I guess, secondhand items that celebrities have let go of. So why this business? Well, I have been really a, an advocate of the environment. I really wanted to have a sustainable planet. I mean, for our future, right? I really wanted to have a business that could actually help the planet be sustainable for our future generation. So I'm excited really to pitch, and the final pitch, um, helping the environment at, at the same time and having a startup. So Arvin, you're up next. Good luck. Thank you, John. My name is Arvid Torres, founder of Celebrity Inbox, where we help celebrities sell their pre love items online. And we're here today seeking for $1 million investment for post money safe or convertible notes. Hi, mga katwinkle, we're back. Vanessa Ayog, paki paki screenshot na lang, Vanessa Ayog. SSD, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, guys. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thank you so much. We noticed there are quite a number of celebrities that are doing that online, just like Miss Angeline Quinto, who recently went to Facebook Live to sell her pre-love items. And this got us thinking, who else is doing this? Why are they doing it? And how are they doing it? Those initial questions led us to do some research, and deep in the research, we have discovered a great opportunity and gained a very unique insight. The opportunity is, celebrities do have a lot of items. We rarely see celebrities wear the same outfit twice, right? We have collaborated with more than 70 local celebrities. We have sold more than 2,000 items. And we have a revenue of $26,000 using only Instagram. So we buy items from celebrity currently for $6 and sell it for $10, giving us a profit margin of 40%. But we now have can lower it down to $1 to $2 for items, giving us a profit margin of 80 to 90%. But just how big is the opportunity? Well, 25 items that were sold in auction already garnered $144 million. And we know Filipinos love our celebrities. And to top it off, secondhand industry is already a $27 billion industry. But how do we plan to meet the demand? That's why we are here. We're looking to partner with Insightful and Thoughtful Investor to help us launch our platform and also launch our two more revenue streams and also to target our income $1 for this year. Join us in connecting every fan and every celebrity through meaningful engagement, one celebrity gain box at a time. Thank you. So do you invest? Do you have working capital? Do you invest on the goods? you buy it from the celebrity? That's the strategy for now, to buy it from celebrities initially, but the long-term plan is to have it in consignment. It feels like you're doing a lot of work just to sell one piece of item for $60. That's true, but that's just a, a foot in the door because that's uh, actually, go ahead. So typical, like the, the models that I've seen, like both either in the US or in, in China at least, is that they do have live streaming commerce, right? Where the celebrity is out there selling something, right? And they're selling thousand units of the same item, right? So that way there is scalability on the back end on the business, right? Whereas for this one, I don't see a scalable model on the back end because you're selling one item. Yes, you are true, and that's deliberate because that's part of the strategy. We are work, I mean, we are doing all those work for the celebrities because we know celebrities won't do that. And that's the difference with Celebrity Greenbox and those, those businesses that have already been successful. I think there's an unsaid here which is why the celebrities are selling their used stuff online in the first place. Do they need the money? No. <laughs> no. They're doing this for engagement. If they go through Celebrity Green Box, because a lot of the value from the point of view of the celebrity evaporates in this model. So I, I want to understand how you built that back in. That's true. And initially, that the thought of like having those items from the favorite celebrities already good enough. But we thought of another way to engage those fans. That's why we'll be launching designer toys. This designer toys will give fans the chance to meet them in person. That's a completely different path to building a secondhand platform. Like the business model, I don't, I don't like it. Like I'll, I'll be honest with you. 
I don't think the monetization engine works if you did all this work and all you're doing is just selling $26,000 worth of stuff, right? But for an e-commerce business, then you basically have to sort of pivot a little bit. You've been at it a year uh, and you have $26,000 in uh, revenue. So the evidence suggests that you do not have a, a scalable business here. There's a specific communication style that you used, um, which is disassembly and diversion. When I asked you a specific question, you would acknowledge my question and then you would divert into something that didn't answer the question. The, the fear for us is when you have somebody who's in charge who dissembles and we go asking for a report on a regular basis, we're gonna be worried that we're not gonna get the straight story. And you know, you're sitting on a treasure trove of celebrities. You got seven, so I mean, just look at the numbers here. You got 76 celebrities in your portfolio with a cumulative 98 million followers. And then you have 13,000 followers on your celebrity green box Instagram platform. Because I think like, you know, the, the, there is oil there, just that, you know, you know, how do you dig it out? So that would be my advice. Yeah, you can actually come up with something like buy and sell, and then through influencer marketing, you can work on it, but definitely not just for celebrities. I think it's gonna be difficult in the long run when it comes to sustainability. Investors, thank you for your comments and thank you. One of the investors said that I might be sitting in a treasure chest, but I really had to look deeper into the business and see how we can maximize the opportunity. That's not the kind of guy who gives you straight answers when you're asking for a yeah, PL. I agree. Fandom is huge, it's powerful, and it's very much untapped. He hasn't quite worked out how to make magic out of that economy yet. I, I liked uh, I liked that you looked for the you looked for the gold in it though. I, th I think he I think he's in love with celebrities. Yeah.